But just looking at some of the recent moves when it comes to Bitcoin, at least uh, Bitcoin over the last week down about 13 uh, percent. Your ETF ticker BRRR down just about a percent more than that. What does that tell us, this recent action? What does that tell us about the idea that Bitcoin and these ETFs could be safe haven trades? Well, first of all, we have to look back what really happened last week. You know, there was a, a built up of pressure on Bitcoin, a lot of governments selling assets they have on the, on the balance sheet, which was safe asset. Then you compound that with like the tensions in the Middle East, you compound that with the Japanese situation, and you end up with like, an, I would say, a weekend uh, look for uh, how to sell assets. And Bitcoin is selling 24 7. Bitcoin is a perfect hyper macro asset. And people were selling what they have before margin call happened. So Bitcoin was a uh, collateral damage. So, so was gold, by the way, on Monday. Uh, and since Monday, we saw Bitcoin kind of uh, bouncing back from the low 50s and now trading around 56,000. So uh, okay. putting stuff into perspective. Go ahead, sorry. Oh, well, I didn't want to interrupt you, but you were about to put it in perspective. But I, I wanted to go back to one thing you said. You mentioned Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. They trade 24-7. In your mind, that makes them more sensitive to macro events, things like the Yen Kerry trade, Middle East tensions, maybe even election shakeups, all those different things in your mind, trades 24-7 more sensitive. Does that also mean that we're going to see a bigger upside when, if, if and when we're expecting a Fed cut, ECB cuts, other positive macro events? I see all the positive macro events that impact Bitcoin greatly. Uh, I think you can see that uh, happening uh, already. The way it bounced back uh, show a very strong institutional positioning on, on the lower print. Uh, and so we're going to see Bitcoin bouncing back from there. You know, I'm, I'm very comfortable uh, seeing Bitcoin much higher by the end of the year. So why are we recently seeing Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies trade very similarly to the triple Qs and the NASDAQ 100 and other uh, mega cap tech trades? Um, why are we seeing that similarity and why is that broken down in your mind in recent days? Because I look at the triple Qs, those are just down about 6% over the last week. Why are we seeing Bitcoin more impacted when before that they were kind of trading in line? Look, uh, Bitcoin recently has been more impacted because there's a lot of profit taking, there's a lot of margin, you know, margin call protection and people looking for relief. You know, if you look at 08 and you look at the biggest hedge fund performing, uh, the big performer hedge fund were having re redemption uh, because they were covering, the investor were covering the losses from others' positions. So in this kind of situation, people are looking for liquid cash and Bitcoin was a, a good way to take profit and say, okay, we're out of that trade and into another one. The other point is like you get a lot of... Uh, institutional money now in Bitcoin, there is a downfall with that, is that institutional money come with proper risk management. And when the risk management team say you out, you out, there is no discussion with it. Okay. So it's a little bit of a different dynamic.